This is the Star News Brief. I'm Susan Kiprono. Deputy President William Ruto on Thursday took matters into his own hands and hosted an independent candidate in the Msambweni by-election. Faisal Badar was once the immediate former MP Suleiman Dori's PA. Ruto's move came a day after top Jubilee officials went behind his back and announced the party wouldn't field a candidate in the race. A disappointed Ruto said he had wanted Jubilee to field a candidate for the seat left vacant following the death of former ODM MP Dori. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. MPs have rejected a key legislation that could have handed MCAs a central role in the management of development projects in their wards. Members of the National Assembly snubbed the controversial Wards Equitable Development Bill 2018 in a major blow to county lawmakers. The fund is supposed to operate largely like the National Government Constituency Development Fund, controlled by MPs. Kenyans seeking cancer treatment may soon be able to skip trips to countries such as India. This comes as an integrated molecular imaging center being set up at the Kenyatta University Teaching, Referral and Research Hospital is expected to cut the cost of PET scans by half. Currently, it costs roughly 75,000 shillings for a PET scan in the private sector. Controversial businesswoman Joyce Akinye has seven days to surrender logbooks of two motor vehicles she allegedly acquired using monies obtained from illegitimate trade in narcotic drugs. The order was granted after the Assets and Recovery Agency told Justice Mombi Ngoge that Akinye hasn't given reasonable explanation to prove any legitimate source of the vehicles. Akinye is the proprietor of Deep West Resort Bar, situated in Nairobi West, Langata Road. And finally, if you go to Vietnam, it might be best for you to bring your own protection. This is after police seized 324,000 used condoms being washed and resold during a raid on a factory. Paid workers were tasked with cleaning the rubber contraceptives before reshaping them with wooden dildos. The condoms were then repackaged before being resold to the public and thousands had already been sent out to the unsuspecting public. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on The Star website.